how to fulfill orders on Shopify AutoDS step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can set up payment and your payment getaway from Shopify to AutoDS. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to install AutoDS by going into settings, going into your apps and sales channels. And then from here, you're going to open up your Shopify app store. Search for AutoDS over here. And AutoDS is a online platform that allows you to import products and helps you in drop shipping. It is really amazing and it has a free trial available, although their starter plan starts at $26. Simply click on install over here and once you click on install, you're going to click on install once more in the installation page on Shopify. So we're just going to wait for this to load up and make sure to also create your AutoDS account. You do have to create that separately. It's really simple. However, you just need an email address and that is it. So I am just using my Apple ID for this. And we can start our trial for a really low trial for only $1. We're just going to enter our email address, lilyguidesyou at gmail. And then you can enter your full name and then a strong password like so. And then click on join. Once you click on join, you will see a few different prompt questions such as your uh, Shopify store. I want to sell on Shopify. Then you're going to choose your package that you want to use. And then you're just going to input your payment info, which I will do and come back in a second. So now that we have connected our setup on AutoDS, it's time to just connect our store. So I want to just connect to my pre-existing Shopify store and I'll just click on continue. Now it is going to ask me to install AutoDS on my Shopify store, which I have done over here. And we're just going to make sure that our connection goes through. Now this is connecting to our Shopify store. We're just going to click on install to proceed with our connection. And we're just going to wait for this to be completed. Now our connection to our Shopify store has been completed. So once your Shopify store has been connected to AutoDS, it's time to set up your payment getaways or your fulfillment. To do that, first go into settings on the left panel of your Shopify store and go into payments. It's really important to set up a provider first, so choose a provider. I'm going to set up a bogus getaway. If you want to simulate approved transactions, go with one, two, and three. And this is just going to be the credit card number. We're going to activate that. Then after that, we are going to go back and we're also going to add a manual payment method of cash on delivery. And I'll just activate this payment method as well. Once we've done that, it's time to move on to AutoDS and set up our product from AutoDS. You can just click on add products and import one product to your store. I'll just take one example product to show you guys. Let's say it's this uh, bikini with skirt. So we're just going to directly import this as it is. So we're just going to import a sample product. We're just going to wait for this to load up like this. And we're just going to import the draft. Let's say we're going to go with this import draft like this. And once you have your products gone into your draft, you can click on view and drafts and then directly push these to your Shopify store. So we have free draft, 40% in progress. Our draft is being created currently. We're going to wait for that. Now, once the product is in your draft, just click on import and the product will be imported to our Shopify store. Now we're going to go into products on our Shopify store. We're going to wait for the product to be completely imported. So it has started to import. We can view the import over here click to view it has 24 variants so those are a lot of variants and it can take a couple of minutes so we're just going to wait for this to be completed like this auto order stock monitoring price monitoring now just like that our product has been imported to our store now if we go into our shopify store we have our product now now, if someone goes into my online store and they pick out 
or buy a product. So if I click on buy it now, so Lily Styles ends up purchasing the product like this. Let's say I have one and then I'll just click on pay now. City for form 100 zero 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 twenty three thirty like this. We're just going to simulate a transaction like this. And once our order has been processed, so this is a order for a product from AutoDS. Now, once the order is received in your Shopify dashboard, you're going to see this is your order. It says it's paid, but the fulfillment status is unfulfilled. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this and you're going to click on request fulfillment because you're not fulfilling this yourself you're going to click on request fulfillment then you're going to you can add notes to your supplier as well but you're going to click on send fulfillment request so you're going to see fulfillment in progress there are no notes to the customer and you have requested your fulfillment from AutoDS. now it's time for you to view back into your AutoDS dashboard and from your AutoDS dashboard you're going to be able to see your orders now in your orders you guys can see it currently says there are no orders it should actually be uh displaying your shopify store orders over here so we're gonna see our dashboard and once we go into our dashboard we currently don't have any orders but we have requested fulfillment we're gonna wait for this fulfillment to go through but that is how you send out fulfillment to AutoDS in your Shopify store. You can also uh, choose if the product is paid for, then obviously AutoDS is automatically going to get a cut. Obviously, this is a bogus getaway. So AutoDS can actually see that there was no payment for the product. However, if you actually get paid for the product, which means, you know, payment went through, then AutoDS will deduct its amount and you can easily get your product fulfillment. Plus, if a customer cancels their order and fulfillment hasn't started on the end of AutoDS, you can always click on cancel request to cancel your fulfillment requests with AutoDS. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.